So one thing that is really beautiful and actually exciting for me as a mathematician is this formula right here, for example. And the neat thing about it is that we've done this representation with the blocks and with the dots, but we can sum it all up, we can encapsulate it in just this, these two little symbols. These two little symbols here capture everything about this entire pattern. And even if it went on, if we tried to do 10 generations and we'd be drop making a thousand dots, it would all be in here with just two to the 10. And so this kind of mathematical pattern is a really powerful and rich way to uh, capture a lot of information in a compact form that then I can write down on my piece of paper and manipulate and change if I wanted to. For instance, I could investigate what would 3 to the x look like, or what would 2 to the x plus 1 look like. And these kind of things I can figure out on paper, which is kind of neat. Likewise, these expressions here are really beautiful. And they encapsulate, again, all the information that's in these growth patterns. And so I think it's really important uh, for mathematicians to always have these visualizations, uh, even if they don't actually plot them out with bingo dabbers or play with blocks once you get to university. Um, I think the students that do the best in university and the mathematicians that are the most powerful have very strong visual sense. So they have these pictures in their mind always when they, and they, then they use these compact descriptions to manipulate things on the page. And in my research work, I'm always talking to biologists who have very visual and very um, elaborate, complicated uh, understandings of a very rich biological system. And I try to encapsulate in a very simple mathematical model uh, something about how that system grows or what patterns are there so that we can understand it better.